today's agenda, you are already in the negotiating phase regarding construction contracts. Yeah. Amber Pollock exactly was the voice plan. for hundreds of people who packed an OTA meeting. This is not why people move to eastern Oklahoma County. The landowners want their pristine country farms and homes to be left alone. We own 600 acres right this, and they're coming right down the middle of it. I moved out to the green belt, not to the truck belt. Those who couldn't speak made sure the OTA could read their anger. U.S. Congressman Steve Russell of Choctaw urged everyone to consider the benefits. But sometimes you have to balance the need for the country, the need for the nation with the needs of the individual. In this case, could be my home. But it's vital for growth and economic development in all of the communities out there because without transportation, you're going to die. The OTA says there's a lot of misinformation out there and it promises to do better. I don't feel like they've had a good communication, and so if that's the case, then we'll double our efforts and be sure that that communication is increased and listen to what they have to say. And the OTA expects to have uh, several public hearings about this issue in the next coming uh, two months or so, where we hope these homeowners will get some answers. We're live at I-35 and I-44. Patty Santos, KOCO 5 News. Okay, Patty.